Let's start the weekend rewind with the confession. In a past life, I, Andrew Wiebe, was a Rivalry Week curmudgeon, a straight up grump. It felt like a marketing ploy, manufactured rather than organic. We don't need a week for rivalries, I argued. Let them stand on their own, no scheduling quirks or gimmicks. Well, I was wrong, dead wrong. Rivalry Week was awesome. Awesome, undeniably so. It was everything I didn't think it could be, then some. And on that note, let's get the rewind rolling in the Big Apple where NYCFC and the Red Bulls wrote another chapter in the brief history of the nascent New York City Derby. The night before, the Empire State Building shone blue. What is, so far, NYCFC's lone victory against the Red Bulls. Wah, wah. That's because the next day, the Red Side of New York had a field day at Yankee Stadium in front of nearly 50,000 fans, myself included. First, they absorbed an early goal from Tommy, return of the Mac McNamara, before putting it on the home side. Want to see how much this game means to those in the trenches? Check out Jesse Marsh celebrating or fist pumping or doing something for Chris Duvall's game winner. That's passion, folks. Oh, and check out this collection of through balls from Sasha Kleschen. More of that, please. And even though NYCFC fans are probably feeling pretty blue this morning, uh, uh, all is not lost. Two guys by the name of Frank Lampard and Andrea Pirlo watch this one from the stands. They might just be able to help NYCFC avoid the season sweep on August 9th at Red Bull Arena. And that was just half the fun on Sunday night. On to Portland we go, where they were walking in a Timbers wonderland thanks to Darlington Nagby and Fernando Adi. Nagby, as the internet might have told you, is the guy MLS fans love to complain about. More what if than final product, according to the comments section. What if he shot more? What if he was more assertive with the ball at his feet in the final third? Well, what if? Here's your answer. It's the reason why we salivate over Nagby's potential and complain incessantly when he doesn't do stuff like this consistently. Worth mentioning, he leads MLS in chances created from open play with 39. Just saying. Also, Timber Joey needs to put Fernando Adi through a safety course. I can't be the only one who was praying the Nigerian wouldn't get that chainsaw started. Sweet celebration, but Lumberjack Adi is not. On the Seattle side, that second straight supporter shield is looking like a pipe dream without Oba and Dempsey. Siggy's got some work to do. And at number three, Dom Kinnear and the Quakes are just getting started after a Cali Clasco victory against the previously rampant Galaxy, who looked downright pedestrian apart from this missile from Juninho. Seriously, that's a wrist breaker. Chris Wondolowski isn't going to score many like that, but give Bo Dye a touch in the box and this is liable to happen. My favorite part? San Jose's talisman hulking out after scoring. Wando smash! Meanwhile, on the other side, Bruce Arena called his team's performance crappy. You can use all your theories you want. You have no clue. We just couldn't do anything simple and, and right. We had, from, from giving away the ball that lead it to that first goal, from that point on, we were no good. Vintage Bruce there, and while LA are still in the playoff field with half a season gone, San Jose have the better record with four games in hand. Oh, and they haven't lost in nine games. And that brings us to the standings where one thing is clear after 17 weeks. The West is best, something I probably don't have to tell you. Want proof? The Honor Division has a 10-game lead on the East in interleague play so far, with 29 wins, 19 losses, and 14 draws. Only two teams out east, DC and Toronto, are averaging better than a point and a half a game. Out west, there are six, and that group doesn't even include the Galaxy. Something to watch. Speaking of that, I'll send you out with my top three goals from a Glazo Heavy Week 17. Get that AT&T Goal of the Week vote in and enjoy the U.S. Open Cup action on Tuesday and Wednesday. ...down the wing with Chance Myers. Myers finds Neyman. He fires it into the back of the net. Christian Neyman. Second ball, and there it is, a goal! you
And the Union lead it, 1-0. Ball set into Beckerman, header to the far post, and a goal! Oles Garcia at the far post, blocked with the assist.